Hi, I'm going to demonstrate how to log in to EXMS 5.0. There are a couple of changes since EXMS 4.x, but essentially it's the same login process you already know. First, you need to have Java version 7 installed on your computer. If you don't, your IT group may have already installed Java 7 for you, or if not, you can download the latest Java 7 version from java.com. To check the version you have, you can use the java-version command. This will bring up a splash screen that shows that I'm running Java version 7, and in this case, update 60. So I have the latest. Next, you need the domain name of the XMS 5.0 server that you'll now start logging into. Your EXMS administrator should send you the name to use from now on. Like most websites you visit, you now access your EXMS 5.0 server by name instead of by its IP address. I open up my browser. I'm going to use Chrome. And I enter HTTP followed by the name of my EXMS 5.0 server. The name of my server is ross102-1.perform.empirics.com. If I don't enter in the slash landing, it will redirect me there. So here I will get the same kind of warning that I got in 4.5 from IE or Firefox or Chrome about accepting the self-signed certificates from the web server. In 5.0, there are two SSL ports, so you have to click proceed anyway or accept twice. Click proceed once, click proceed again, and then I get to the landing screen, or the login screen, the 5.0 login screen. Here I enter in my password or my username, and I enter in my one-time default password that was set up during the upgrade. One, two, three, Click login. So on my first time login, it's going to redirect me to the change password screen. So here, for my old password, I need to enter in my 4.5 password. And then I need to enter in a new password for 5.0 that's different from that 4.5 password. Click OK. And then it will log me out and then I need to open up my browser again, enter in the name of my EXMS server, accept twice the two self-signed warnings, and now I enter in my username and my 5.0 password that I just set up. Click login. So this is the new, this is equivalent to the application screen in, in 4.x. But if I want to start up my uh, Diagnostics Java application, I click the same Diagnostics and Voice Reports icon. It will start downloading to my desktop, running Java 7. Say yes, I want to run it. And yes, I accept that the web server self-signed, and here I've got the same uh, Java Diagnostics application that we had in 4.x. So this is uh, how you log into um, EXMS 5.0. And as long as I keep this browser logged in, I can open up this UI. Notice how it didn't prompt me for the username and password, because I've already logged into the web page. So the, it's, uh, the, the single sign-on mechanism um, allows me to do this now, so that um, you don't need to be reprompted for the password each time. Now, there's one last change I need to show you um, from the Diagnostics page. When you click the Logout button, uh, there'll be a new prompt here. It says, do you want to log out all sessions, which includes this browser in the background here, or do you want to just close this window and maybe continue to work on on one of the other applications. If I say yes, it will log me out of the, everywhere, the browser and all my diagnostic applications that I've opened. Or if I want to just close this window, I click no. So I'm going to say no to just close the window. So this screen is still logged in. So this has its own logout button, just like the application screen did before. 
has access to the help. And it just has a menu over here that can get you to any of these different icons. So I'm going to log out. And that concludes the demonstration. Thank you.